Hello everyone and welcome back to positionspecific.com and welcome to this attacking transition session number three. In this session, we have a skill practice and a game practice, both opposed practices, so we have that random element needed for the players when working in the transition moments. So thinking about attacking transition, we always look to our performance wheels. We have an individual model and a team model. So individually, attacking transition, in possession, we ask our players to scan. So can they see the ball? Can they see the defender? And can they see this next move? Can they think about their movement? So can they look for space beyond, beside, or below the opposition? We ask them to think about the receiving skills. So back foot to progress forward and front foot to protect if they need to maintain possession. And releasing skills. Can they see it early, do it quickly and execute with quality? So taking these four individual factors, we then look to our team model. So collectively, can we get available? Quick supporting angles, minimum of three players. And again, beyond, beside or below the opposition. Can they progress forward? So high impact, low risk, look forward and play forward with detail. We might need to protect. So if we can't play forward, can we move the ball out of the pressure zone and protect the ball and maintain possession? And possess. Can we find a minimum of two passes to keep the ball? So that might mean moving it away from the opposition's press so we can maintain it to look forward. Attacking transition, skill practice. This skill practice takes place in approximately 40 by 40 area that's split into two as shown. Really simple 5v3 possession game. The Reds will start the practice off in possession and look to keep the ball for eight passes for a goal. If the white team can win the ball, they then transition into attacking by trying to play into their two players in the opposite square and joining them to maintain possession. The only way teams can score a goal is if they can keep the ball for eight passes in their area. So there's always an element of transitioning from one area to the other. Attacking transition, game practice. This game practice takes place in an approximately 44 by 40 area that's split into two as shown with a goal at each end. Very similar setup to the previous skill practice with a couple of small tweaks. The game starts with a 6v4 possession game where the Reds will look to maintain possession for eight passes for a goal. If the Whites can win possession, they have a choice. They can either go straight to goal and score, which is worth two, or they can win possession depending on the scenario, play back into their, their area, and look to maintain for eight passes to score a goal. Whenever a team scores a goal, they always maintain possession. But we're really looking at the decision-making during that attacking transition of whether they can progress forward and score straight away or whether they maintain and keep possession.